You messed up the station, man. I didn't mean to. It's on the wrong presets or something. Wait, is this FM? There we go. Here's some classical action. That's right. The other day they were playing opera or something like that. And, you know, the singer was pretty powerful. I mean, she was wailing, really. But it went on too long. And, you know, she was singing a song that was, like, totally in a different language. Which doesn't matter to me, really. I mean, if you're wailing, you're wailing in whatever language. It doesn't matter, right? But it just went on really too long for me. Really too long. Yeah, I don't like that so much. Some, some heavy metal bands, you know, they have songs that are, like, I don't know, eight to ten minutes long? Yeah, you, that was short. That was a walk in the park compared to this song. This was just too long. Yeah, but an opera's like a whole thing. All right, you're hitting my brain now. Let's, let's continue. So today, oh, wait, there's one thing we forgot. Party on, Garth. Party on, Wayne. All right, now we can start, cool. So today we're fishing through looking for talk radio and uh, to see what people are talking about, other than us, you know, because we don't have much to say. Yeah, except for your funny stories. Hey, I, I have a funny story, Wayne. All right, all right. Later, huh? Okay. I know French much better than any language I learned after that, and not because I had a better teacher. Speaking of different languages, huh? I can still do tap dances, though I won't. But I learned when I was... I bet you anything, this is a monologue. Exactly. It's like, it's embossed in your existence. It's this important time for your brain. It's like this use it or lose it time. All right, now I'm just confused. I don't think this is a monologue. Yeah, because the guy jumped in there. stereotypes about middle schoolers. Everything, in fact, that Annie complained about. All of that is true. No, now I think it's a monologue because they used a character name. Middle school is when kids open up to the world. It's when they think about bigger things. And they haven't formed their opinions on things yet. Everything's up for grabs. Plus there's the oboe music, which gives it away as a monologue right away. Yeah, sure. If you say so. I say so. Fuzz. 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 More fuzz. That reminds me, we still have to play that Dove Soap commercial someday. Oh yeah, that was sort of promise, wasn't it? Well, sort of. But no time to find it today, not if we're wasting all our minutes listening to fuzz. I don't think this thing is adjusted properly. Garth, you want to do the antenna? Okay, let's try this. Cool. It's not affecting anything. Well, that's because it's a sunny day out. I don't know. Try west. That's east. Oh yeah, it's... It's you. It's not we. I keep forgetting. Is that how you learned your compass and maps in school? Yeah. Ns and you. I get it now. I get it. All right, but we're looking for talk, so let's continue. No one won. All right, this is sports. I can tell you right now, this is sports. Limited to pinch hitting duties. Here's the pitch. And he hits this the other way toward the line. Pinch hitting duties. I like some pinch hitting duties. <laughs> no, no, I think he said pinch hitting duties, but he corrected himself. Yeah, they just play him really short in left field, expecting him to go to the opposite field. All right, I hear a big stadium. This could be, this could be hockey. This could be basketball. John Jaso is two out of four with an RBI. John Jaso comes to the plate with runners at first and second, two outs in this bottom of the sixth inning. An inning. We're getting closer. Closer to what? Understanding what's going on. I like music, you know, I, I like sports too, I like hockey a lot, but I don't, the Pirates, the Pirates, okay, we're getting somewhere now, where are we getting, I don't know, it's baseball, it must be baseball, right, boy, have you never been to a baseball game, well, it's on my bucket list, jeez, give me a chance, I'm not gonna kick the bucket tomorrow, you know, I hope not, yeah, well, stop rushing me, okay, alright, that's baseball music if I ever heard it, yeah, it's just like the old Bugs Bunny cartoons. Yeah, that's right. I love Bugs Bunny cartoons. I also like Daffy Duck. Is it Daffy? Yeah, I like Daffy Duck too. I like them when they're in them together. The that's really cool. Pitch, and Jaso takes ball three. Jaso takes ball three. Well, well I hope it's baseball. <laughs> okay, let's move on. As much nutritious food as we possibly can. All right, and, this sounds like uh, a scientific for thing the now. Last several years, feeding Americans have been having a, a, a huge emphasis on fresh produce. You know, produce, you know, sending out as much fresh produce as we possibly can. And I'm happy to report that, you know, last year we distributed seven and a half million pounds of food. About one fourth of that was fresh produce, which puts us well ahead of our feeding Americans. All right, but if you're distributing fresh produce, stay with me on this. If you're distributing uh, fresh produce, uh, that means that it was fresh when you picked it, and then you put it on a bus or a truck or whatever, right? Yeah. You know, it, it and then a, you a ship it, right? And, as much fresh and then it's not fresh anymore. All this fresh milk at the same okay? Time. Fresh you know, milk too. Unless you're shipping a cow in the back, okay? It's so not fresh. Get, get over yourself.
Let's move on. Because we've got special limited time offers. All right, classic. Classic radio. A commercial. Okay. Commercials are in between everything. They're in between talking. So you get a break from talking for more talking. That's crazy. What's the commercial about, Wayne? I don't know. But the time's running up for the opportunity to get whatever it is. Get the Mercedes Benz G L A S. Alright, it's car commercial. The Mercedes Benz. That's not bad. Got some uh some wailing music there. If your AC was last year, time to tune it up. You can do that for less than thirty bucks. Did you say your AC? Yeah, I think you did. Heating and cooling. Alright, well last year Well this year I don't have to worry because I have one of those combination uh fan and heaters, so you can use it all winter. Burn it out, right? And then use it in the summer too. Yeah, but it collects all that dust and it burns out pretty fast. I know, that's what I just said. So that's the one downside to it. But if it's so chosen, I could use either the heat or the cool. And that's pretty cool. That's pretty hot. Or that joke. Alright, that's enough commercials. Let's see what else people are talking about today. I'm in the region is more experienced when it comes to treating, training, and inspiring athletes. UPMC, the official health care provider of the Penguins, Steelers, and you. Penguins, all right. Okay, he's got the Penguins jersey ones. Wake up. I'm worried about my new car. All right, someone's worried about their new car. Yes, and no one well, why don't you just go back to 89.3 and get the Mercedes Benz? Stop bothering us, huh? Yeah. All right, another car commercial. Let's turn this down a little bit. Princessy, my little ponies kind of girl. But I love Spider-Man for a new reason. After this police officer in Fort Worth, Texas, got a phone call to... Is this really a commercial for Spider-Man? I don't know if I'm hearing this. He's the first one to realize this little boy is not going to make it. Well, this boy loved Spider-Man so much that his family wanted to throw him a Spider-Man... This is getting sad, Garth. Yeah, is this the Make-A-Wish Foundation? Jeez, just hang yourself. This is so sad. He thought the least he could do is show up dressed as this little boy's superhero. So that's what he did. He showed up as Spider-Man. You can see these photos. They'll make you cry. I'm already crying, lady, okay? Jeez. I'd dress up as Spider-Man to make someone's, someone's day, but it wouldn't really work for me because I need Spider-Man to show up to make my day first. Alright, this is a song here. Yeah, that's stating the obvious there, Wayne. Yeah, no. But there was talking before, so I couldn't tell. Alright, let's continue. We're up to, uh, 10.07 right now. Got another bang song there. More songs. Well, it's good to know there's still some music on the radio, huh, Garth? Yeah. Alright, I don't think we have much more time today, so we're just going to end with this song here. What's this song? I don't think we need to check Soundhound for this one, Garth. I think everybody knows this song. Alright, until next time, this is Wayne and Garth. Party on, Garth! Party on, Wayne! <laughs>